forgive me for all that is past. Overlook all of my long heedlessness. With your remembrance, let me be content. Let me behold you when comes the judgment. One day you told me this life is a bridge. Don't build upon it, but cross over it. Always remember the end of the road. When some media channels and some corrupt U.S. officials used extreme rhetoric against Muslims and tried to stop Muslims from entering the United States, their extreme rhetoric gives some people permission to be discriminatory against Muslims. As a result, the number of assaults and other hate crimes against Muslims was higher than any other time. Let's watch some examples of heroic acts by American people, by Canadians, up against hatred. by Hispanics, by Chinese Americans, and by brave Muslims who stood against those who crossed the line. Let's start from New York with this fearless woman who defended a Muslim subway rider from an unstable woman. Where? The wire here. Transfers available to the seven. Why are you here? What's your question? Be specific, man. Why are you here? Why are you in this country? If you're not with us. Who's us, man? Okay. Us. And nobody maybe they're not taking my back. I know nobody taking my back. Nobody on the street is with you. No, you don't understand. You're not even from here. Are you from here? I am. Okay. What 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 country of origin? I am from here. I am born here in America. Good, me too. So what are what but are you Latin American? Are you like, it doesn't matter where no, it comes from. No, it doesn't matter. Okay. I'm, I'm half Chinese, I'm half Latin American. Where are you from, man? I'm from Puerto Rico. Okay. You, you, you're you're not you're not no me importa lo que tú creas. I'm not telling you to be quiet. I'm asking you to please respect her. In Spanish, in English, in Chinese, in French, whatever language you want me to say it, I will say it to you. Whether you're born from here, Puerto Rico, wherever, wherever you are from. Okay? Because I am born here, and I don't like the way you're treating her. It's rude. We're here in it together, okay? We're all in this together. Whether we like what's going on in the government or not, okay, we gotta deal with it. You're a grown woman. And you defend your brothers and sisters, because that's what you are. If you're a part of this country, you're brothers and sisters with everyone. Just like como sería igual como Puerto Rico, que tus hermanos y tus hermanas. Because, because he looks, he looks Indian Muslim? Is that what it is? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's continue our journey and go to Canada to see how this brave bus driver took action to defend this Muslim rider. We begin tonight with the story of an Ottawa bus driver standing up against hatred. Alain Charette intervened when a Muslim woman was verbally attacked by a fellow passenger. An instant hero to the woman he defended. CTV's Joanne Schnur live now with the latest on this story. Joanne? Well, 20-year-old Haley DeYoung says she's used to people staring at her because of her kneecap or face covering. But she says a verbal attack on a bus recently shocked her. And so did the bus driver's actions when he jumped to her defense. Haley DeYoung has had her share of insults hurled her way since she converted to Islam three years ago. Even more since she started wearing a niqab or a face veil in October. Like people yell out their car window at you a lot. But that's nothing compared to the verbal pummeling she received earlier this month. De Young was traveling on an OC Transpo bus May 12th on her way to the Rideau Center. And as soon as I sat down, I heard a man making comments saying things like she could be a bank robber. And then he just resorted to yelling like terrorist, freak. Um, at one point he yelled for me to assimilate. De Young wasn't scared, she was mad. So were some of the passengers around her who told the guy to stop. Then she heard this from the bus driver. 
and then you could hear him shout from the front of the bus, like really loudly, the whole bus could hear. If you have a problem, you know, like if you have a problem with her, you got a problem with me there, you got to deal with me, stop harassing the, the, the woman. Well, if you allow something like that to carry on, by not saying anything, you become part of it. Charette pulled the bus over the first chance he got, opened all the doors and told the man either he leaves or waits for security. He chose to get off and the bus continued on its way. De Young then approached Charette at her stop. And I told him that um, I was really grateful for what he did and I asked him for a selfie. <laughs> that photo was printed in an online publication called Muslim Link. Charette is a little embarrassed about all the attention he's getting, but happy too. His message is getting out that if you're not doing your part to support another human being, then what kind of human being are you? Let's end our journey and see how the judge of Minnesota put this woman behind bars because she assaulted a Muslim woman. We will also see the forgiveness and great manner of this Muslim woman. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. A Ramsey woman pleaded guilty today to attacking another woman in a restaurant because she was speaking Swahili. 43-year-old Jody bouchard Reish pled guilty to felony third-degree assault as part of a plea deal. She admitted to hitting the woman across the face with a beer mug at Applebee's last year. Marie bouchard Reish got upset when she heard Asma Mohammed Jama and her relatives speaking in their native language. Court documents say Asma was abused verbally for not speaking English. Restaurant staff tried to intervene, but Bouchard Reich took a large beer mug and hit Asma across the face. It took 17 stitches to close her wounds. In front of a packed courtroom, Asma Jama spoke to the woman who attacked her. I am a strong person. I'll keep fighting. But um, what happened to me should never happen in the state of Minnesota. It shouldn't happen to anybody just because you're different. Um, and I hope that. Um, If I could ask you if I can talk to the defendant, would that be okay? Sure. Jody, um, what you did to me that day wasn't good. You should never do anything like that to anybody. But I just wanted to tell you in front of everybody today that I do forgive you. Um, my religion teaches me to forgive so I can move on with my life. If I hold a grudge and I hold the hate you hold towards me, against you, it's not going to serve me well. So in front of everybody here, I do forgive you and I hope that you choose love over hate. I really do because it makes your life easier. Um, having hate just eats at you. It's not good. I hope you find what you're looking for and I hope at the end of this journey, I know you've had just as long as a year that I have had, and my intention for you is not bad. I don't have any ill feelings towards you. I just want you to, at the end of all this, to understand that we're all the same. It doesn't matter what's on my head. It doesn't matter the skin, the color of my skin. We're all the same human beings. We're fighting for the same rights. I'm an American citizen and I fight for this country today. I would fight for it as much as, much as you would. So I just want you to understand um, you hit somebody you didn't know anything about. I do speak English, I speak very well English, I work every single day just like you do, Jody. So I hope at the end of all this that you learn we're all the same, there's no difference between me and you at all whatsoever. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. All right, thank you. My intention was to bring it to light that this is what's going on and if we don't stop it as Minnesotans or Americans, it's going to continue happening. What we have just seen were just some examples of what Muslims experience because of the extreme rhetoric used by corrupt politicians. On the other hand, the trial that Muslims are going through enabled the world to see some examples of Islamic great manner and also see the heroic quality of those respected people who stood against hate. Islam is the fastest growing religion no matter what the corrupt politicians say or do. Finally, Muslims have to remember what Quran said and hold fast all together by the rope of Allah.
and be not divided among yourselves.